What should you do when you're passing loose sheep on the road? A. Briefly sound your horn. B. Go very slowly. C. Pass quickly but quietly. D. Purse them to the side of the road. The correct answer is B. Go very slowly. At night, what does it mean if you see pedestrian wearing reflective clothing and carrying a bright red light? A. You're approaching roadworks. B. You're approaching an organized walk. C. You're approaching a slow-moving vehicle. D. You're approaching traffic danger spot. The correct answer is B. You're approaching an organized walk. You've just passed your driving test. How can you reduce your risk of being involved in a collision? A. By always staying close to the vehicle in front. B. By never going over 40 miles per hour. C. By staying in the left hand lane on all roads. D. By taking further training. The correct answer is D. By taking further training. You're turning right from a main road into a side road. There's no oncoming traffic. What should you do if pedestrians are standing on the pavement waiting to cross the side road? A. Turn in because the pedestrians are safe on the pavement. B. Wave at the pedestrians, inviting them to cross the road. C. Wait and give way to the pedestrians. D. Sound your horn to alert the pedestrians to your presence. The correct answer is. C. Wait and give way to the pedestrians. You're traveling on a narrow section of road. What should you do if a horse rider ahead is riding in the center of the lane? A. Sound your horn to alert them to your presence. B. Stay behind and allow them to ride in this position. C. Move across to the right and try to ease past them. D. Get up close behind to encourage them to move aside. The correct answer is B. Stay behind and allow them to ride in this position. You're about to overtake a cyclist on a road that has a 30 miles per hour speed limit. How much room should you leave them as you overtake? A. At least as much room as you would if you were overtaking a car. B. At least a car's width. C. At least a car's length. D. At least two car widths. The correct answer is A. At least as much room as you would if you were overtaking a car. You're turning left from a main road into a side road. What should you do if there's a pedestrian on the pavement waiting to cross the side road? A. Flash your lights to encourage the pedestrian to cross. B. Carry on turning into the side road. C. Sound your horn to let the pedestrian know you're there. D. Wait and give way to the pedestrian. The correct answer is D. Wait and give way to the pedestrian. You want to reverse into a side road. 
What should you do if you aren't sure that the area behind your car is clear? A. Look through the rear window only. B. Get out and check. C. Check the dot mirrors only. D. Carry on, assuming it's clear. The correct answer is B. Get out and check. You're about to reverse into a side road. What should you do if a pedestrian is waiting to cross behind your car? A. Wave to the pedestrian to stop. B. Give way to the pedestrian. C. Sound your horn to warn the pedestrian. D. Reverse before the pedestrian starts to cross. The correct answer is B. Give way to the pedestrian. Which road users are most difficult to see you're reversing your car? A. Motorcyclists. B. Car drivers. C. Cyclists. D. Children. The correct answer is D. Children. You want to turn right from a junction. What should you do if your view is restricted by parked vehicles? A. Move out quickly, but be prepared to stop. B. Sound your horn and pull out if there's no reply. C. Stop, then move forward slowly until you have a clear view. D. Stop, get out and look along the main road to check. The correct answer is C. Stop, then move forward slowly until you have a clear view. You're at the front of queue of traffic waiting to turn right into a side road. Why is it important to check your right mirror just before turning? A. To look for pedestrians about to cross. B. To check for overtaking vehicles. C. To make sure the side road is clear. D to check for emerging traffic. The correct answer is B. To check for overtaking vehicles. You've driven up to a pelican crossing. What must you do while the amber light is flashing? A. Signal the pedestrian to cross. B. Always wait for the green light before proceeding. C. Give way to any pedestrians on the crossing. D. Wait for the red and amber light before proceeding. The correct answer is. C. Give way to any pedestrians on the crossing. You stopped at a pelican crossing. What should you do if a disabled person is crossing slowly in front of you and the lights change to green? A. Wait for them to finish crossing. B. Drive in front of them. C. Edge forward slowly. D. Sound your horn. The correct answer is A. Wait for them to finish crossing. You're driving past a line of parked cars. What should you do if a ball bounces out into the road ahead? A. Continue driving at the same speeding sound your horn. B. Continue driving at the same speed and flash your headlights. C. Slow down and be prepared stop for children. D. 
Stop and wave the children across to fetch their ball. The correct answer is C. Slow down and be prepared stop for children. You want to turn right from a main road into a side road. What should you do just before turning? A. Cancel your right turn signal. B. Select first gear. C. Check for traffic overtaking on your right. D. Stop and set the parking brake. The correct answer is C. Check for traffic overtaking on your right. You're driving in a slow moving queue of traffic. What should you do just before changing lane? A. Sound the horn and flash your lights. B. Look for motorcyclists filtering through the traffic. C. Give a slowing down arm signal. D. Change down to first gear. The correct answer is B. Look for motorcyclists filtering through the traffic. You're driving in town. Why should you be careful if there's a bus stop on the other side of the road? A. The bus might have broken down. B. Pedestrians might come from behind the bus. C. The bus might move off suddenly. D. The bus might remain stationary. The correct answer is B. Pedestrians might come from behind the bus. How should you overtake horse riders? A. Drive up close and overtake as soon as possible. B. Speed isn't important but allow plenty of room. C. Use your horn just once to warn them. D. Drive slowly and leave plenty of room. The correct answer is D. Drive slowly and leave plenty of room. Why should you allow extra room while overtaking a motorcyclist on a windy day? A. The rider may turn off suddenly to get out of the wind. B. The rider may be blown in front of you. C. The rider may stop stop suddenly. D. The rider may be traveling faster than normal. The correct answer is B. The rider may be blown in front of you. Where should you take particular care to look for motorcyclists and cyclists? A. On a dual carriageways. B. At junctions. C. At zebra crossings. D. On one way streets. The correct answer is B. At junctions. The road outside this school is marked with yellow zigzag lines. What do these lines mean? A. You may park on the lines when dropping off schoolchildren. B. You may park on the line when picking up schoolchildren. C. You shouldn't wait or park your vehicle here. D. You must stay with your vehicle if you park here. The correct answer is C. You shouldn't wait or park your vehicle here. 
You're driving past parked cars. What should you do if you see a bicycle wheel sticking out between the cars? A. Accelerate past quickly and sound your horn. B. Slow down and wave the cyclist across. C. Break sharply and flash your headlights. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop for a cyclist. The correct answer is D. Slow down and be prepared to stop for a cyclist. You're driving at night. What should you do if you're dazzled by a vehicle behind you? A. Set your mirror to the anti-dazzle position. B. Set your mirror to dazzle the other driver. C. Brake sharply to a stop. D. Switch your rear lights on and off. The correct answer is A. Set your mirror to the anti-dazzle position. You're driving towards a zebra crossing. What should you sew if a person in a wheelchair is waiting to cross? A. Continue on your way. B. Wave to the person to cross. C. Wave to the person to wait. D. Be prepared to stop. The correct answer is D. Be prepared to stop. You're about to overtake a slow moving motorcyclist. Which sign would make you take special care? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is A. You're waiting to turn right out of a minor road. It's clear to the left but a lorry is coming from the right. Why should you wait, even if you have enough time to turn? A. Anything overtaking the lorry will be hidden from view. B. The lorry could suddenly speed up. C. The lorry might be slowing down. D. The load on the lorry might be unstable. The correct answer is A. Anything overtaking the lorry will be hidden from view. You're following a long vehicle as it approaches a crossroads. What should you do if it signals left but moves out to the right? A. Get closer in order to pass it quickly. B. Stay well back and give it room. C. Assume the signal is wrong and that it's turning right. D. Overtake it as it starts to slow down. The correct answer is B. Stay well back and give it room. You're following a log vehicle approaching a crossroads. What should you do if the driver signals right but moves close to the left-hand curb? A. Warn the driver about the wrong signal. B. Wait behind the long vehicle. C. Report the driver to the police. D. Overtake on the right-hand side. The correct answer is B. Wait behind the long vehicle. You're approaching a mini roundabout. What should you do if a long vehicle in front signals left but positions over to the right? A. Sound your horn. B. Overtake on the left. C. Follow the same course as the lorry. D. Keep well back.
The correct answer is D. Keep well back. You're driving on a single carriageway road. Why should you keep well back while you're following a large vehicle? A. To give yourself acceleration space if you decide to overtake. B. To get the best view of the road ahead. C. To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops and rolls back. D. To offer other drivers a safe gap if they want to overtake you. The correct answer is B. To get the best view of the road ahead. You're traveling behind a bus. What should you do if it pulls up at a bus stop? A. Accelerate past the bus. B. Look for pedestrians. C. Sound your horn. D. Pull in closely behind the bus. The correct answer is B. Look for pedestrians. You're following a lorry on a wet road. What should you do when spray makes it difficult to see the road ahead? A. Drop back until you can see better. B. Put your headlights on full beam. C. Keep close to the lorry, away from the spray. D. Speed up and overtake quickly. Pull in closely behind the bus. The correct answer is A. Drop back until you can see better. You're leaving a safe gap as you follow a large vehicle. What should you do if a car moves into this gap? A. Sound your horn. B. Drop back further. C. Flash your headlights. D. Start to overtake. The correct answer is B. Drop back further. What should you do when you're approaching a bus that's signaling to move away from a bus stop? A. Get past before it moves. B. Allow it to pull away, if it's safe to do so. C. Flash your headlights as you approach. D. Signal left and wave the bus on. The correct answer is B. Allow it to pull away, if it's safe to do so. What should you do if you want to overtake a long, slow-moving vehicle on a busy road? A. Follow it closely and keep moving out to see the road ahead. B. Flash your headlights for the oncoming traffic to give way. C. Stay behind until the driver waves you past. D. Keep well back so that you get a good view of the road ahead. The correct answer is D. Keep well back so that you get a good view of the road ahead. Which vehicle are least likely to be affected by side wind? A. Cyclists. B. Motorcyclists. C. High-sided vehicles. D. Cars. The correct answer is D. Cars. What should you do as you approach this lorry? A. Slow down and be prepared to wait. B. Make the lorry wait for you. C. Flash your lights at the lorry. D. 
Move to the right hand side of the road. The correct answer is A. Slow down and be prepared to wait. What should you do as you approach this lorry? You're following a large vehicle as it approaches a crossroads. What should you do if the driver signals to turn left? A. Overtake if you can leave plenty of room. B. Overtake if there are no oncoming vehicles. C. Wait for the driver to cancel their signals. D. Wait for the vehicle to finish turning. The correct answer is D. Wait for the vehicle to finish turning. Why is it more difficult to overtake a large vehicle than a car? A. It will take longer to overtake a large vehicle. B. A large vehicle will be fitted with a speed limiter. C. A large vehicle will have air brakes. D. It will take longer for a large vehicle to accelerate. The correct answer is A. It will take longer to overtake a large vehicle. It's very windy. What should you do if you're behind a motorcyclist who's overtaking a high-sided vehicle? A. Overtake the motorcyclist immediately. B. Keep well back. C. Stay level with the motorcyclist. D. Keep close to the motorcyclist. The correct answer is B. Keep well back. What should you do if there's bus at a bus stop ahead of you? A. Flash your lights to warn the driver of your presence. B. Continue at the same speed but sound your horn as a warning. C. Watch carefully for the sudden appearance of pedestrians. D. Pass the bus as quickly as possibly can. The correct answer is C. Watch carefully for the sudden appearance of pedestrians. What should you be prepared to do in this situation? A. Sound your horn and continue. B. Slow down and give way. C. Report the driver to the police. D. Squeeze through the gap. The correct answer is B. Slow down and give way. Why should drivers be more careful on roads where trams also operate? A. Because trams don't have horn. B. Because trams can't stop for cars. C. Because trams don't have lights. D. Because trams can't steer to avoid obstructions. The correct answer is D. Because trams can't steer to avoid obstructions. You're towing a caravan. Which is the safest type of rear view mirror to use? A. Interior wide angle mirror. B. Extended arm side mirrors. C. Ordinary door mirrors. D. Ordinary interior mirror. The correct answer is B. Extended arm side mirrors. 
you're driving in heavy traffic on a wet road. Which lights should you use if there's a lot of surface spray? A. Main beam headlights. B. Side lights only. C. Rear fog lights if visibility is more than 100 meters, 32 feet. D. Dipped headlights. The correct answer is D. Dipped headlights. What should you do if you overtake a cyclist when it's very windy? A. Overtake very slowly. B. Keep close as you pass. C. Sound your horn repeatedly. D. Allow extra room. The correct answer is D. Allow extra room. When may you overtake another vehicle on their left? A. When you're in one way street. B. When approaching a motorway slip road where you'll be turning off. C. When the vehicle in front is signaling to turn left. D. When a slower vehicle is traveling in the right hand lane of a dual carriageway. The correct answer is A. When you're in one-way street. You're traveling in very heavy rain. How is this likely to affect your overall stopping distance? A. It will be doubled. B. It will be halved. C. It will be ten times greater. D. It will be no different. The correct answer is A. It will be doubled. What should you do when you're overtaking at night? A. Wait until a bend so that you can see oncoming headlight. B. Sound your horn twice before moving out. C. Go past slowly so that you can react to unseen hazards. D. Beware of bends in the road ahead. The correct answer is D. Beware of bends in the road ahead.